to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to do a teardown of a DVD-ROM drive. These are actually going extinct because now we are using flash drives or digital downloads to watch movies, to download programs, and other software for a computer. And these are just basically a relic. So now I'm just going to take it apart and salvage the components because the components are still good. So let's get started. Alright, removing the screws, removing the panel. Now I have to rip out the front. Perfect. Now I already see some components I can use. I have right here a pressure switch, which is very useful. A DC motor. And an LED. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this PCB out. I'm going to remove this one first because it's easier to pull out. Remove the ribbon cables, and ah, here's some capacitors and an oscillating crystal. Very useful. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this tray. A little flip switch. Interesting. Oh well, this is very good. I can use this in the future. Put that to the side. And here's some gears. I can use always use gears. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and remove oh, these little squishy things. Okay, maybe those could be useful. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the laser diode and infrared reader. Hmm, this could be very useful. Right there, that's the laser diode, and the other is the infrared sensor. And that's just a lens to amplify the laser and to control the laser. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and remove this DC motor and this sliding motor right here. It's interesting that it has four pins. That could maybe be useful to use in an Arduino or something. I don't know. We'll see. Could be useful. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and take this part, this uh, component apart to get to the laser diode. Ah, I see some neodymium magnets inside. Those are really strong and really useful definitely use neodymium magnets. A little hard to take out because usually they're glued in, so I'll have to figure something out to get it out. First I'm going to go rip out this lens. This lens could be useful. Maybe I can attach a laser to it and increase the size of the beam or increase the distance of the beam. I don't know. It could be useful. Now I'm going to try to get to the laser diodes. Okay, now I'm going to try to get these neodymium magnets out. Ah, there we go. Got it. Now I'm going to try to pull out the other one. Perfect. Now I'm going to go and remove this DC motor and this tilt looking switch and the pressure switch. And there. Useful. Now I'm going to go and try to remove this oscillating crystal out. Nice. And try to get to these capacitors. And here are all the components. These are the gears and a rubber band to be, be, to be able to spin the gears. I could possibly use that in a future project. Maybe to speed up a motor or slow down a motor. Screws are always very useful to use. Here's the crystal oscillator, the 
pressure switch, an LED, a tilt switch, I believe. I'm not sure, but I can experiment with that. Some reflective lenses that I'll also see through. Could probably filter certain types of light, but I don't know, I might use it for something. Not sure what, but I'll figure it out. These metal bars, they can be handy for something. I'll figure it out again, of course. And this little lens here can be helpful to use to control light lasers or amplify a laser or something. And this little component here is useless, but what's inside is gold, so I can use that. A DC motor. DC motors are always very useful. I might take that piece out and use it as a motor or attach it to those gears and maybe use something with that. Not sure what, but I'll figure it out. And this little DC motor might be able to control to use like a spin a CD or maybe a plate or something. Not sure what, but I'll have to come up with something creative. And this part here, this motor here is really interesting. It has four pins and it controls the motor to go forward and back. Maybe I can use that in an Arduino for something. Not sure what, but I'll figure it out. And these little squishy things could be useful to maybe stabilize a motor to prevent vibration or something. I don't know. But these components seem to be very, very handy and very useful. And of course, neodymium magnets. I've always loved neodymium magnets. You can use it for anything. I just like to use them to keep screws together so things are not all scattered and falling apart. So yeah, there you have it. These are the components I salvaged from an old DVD-ROM drive. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. Hope you learned something new, and I hope you like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.